Right, welcome folks. The saga of the Jaguar situation has developed once more. So, I've covered this pretty extensively now. Yesterday I covered the leaked memo, which came from the CEO. Uh, and then, uh, in that video, I obviously appraised the memo itself, because it was an internal document. It was a document which was given to employees, and disseminating that information is not too difficult to take a look at that and go, ah, there's clearly trouble brewing. Like there's, The wording of the document is very, very clearly... You know, it, it, it's aimed at people that are disgruntled with the situation and they're voicing it. Now, that's not good. It's not good for morale. Uh, you know, this whole situation with the rebrand of Jaguar, it's just not a good situation to be in. Uh, it's not a good situation for Jaguar to be in, quite frankly. But employees are going to be worried. And understandably, the majority, like line worker employees, people that just work on the line, manufacturing stuff, they're really normal people, right? They're not CEO level, they're not managing director level, they're not out in LA woke level. They're just normal people, especially in the UK. They're just normal, normal people that, you know, they, they have a family, they, they work on the line or wherever it is, and they go home and they want their job at the end of the day. Well, in that video, I said... If you're an employee, reach out to me. Let me know. Like, let me know if I'm right. Uh, now, I've had several people reach out to me, actually, uh, who work at uh, Jaguar and can confirm this as well. And it it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. I've got two sort of contacts here that I want to go through and let you guys know what they were saying. All anonymous, of course. And it's really bad. There's one in the US, because obviously... They have USA-based employees. And then there's one this side as well. And the it's pretty startling, actually. It's pretty concerning. So I thought we'd take a look. Um, not look. You guys can't see this, of course. But basically, uh, a JLR, so Jaguar Land Rover employee in the States, uh, reached out and said, yeah, everything you said in that video, everything you reported on, is completely right. Mardell, Adrian Mardell, the CEO is a strong DEI promoter, like full on, full on woke as you like. So all of this nonsense that will subsequently kill Jaguar is coming down from the very top, CEO level, um, which is not good, obviously. But they go on to say that the memo uh, was actually talking about people writing things considered hate uh, against LGBT people on internal blogs. Now, this has actually been corroborated here in the UK as well. So they have internal blogs, they have an internal messaging service, uh, Jabber, which is like an open source internal messenger thing which they can communicate on. Um, and basically, stateside, uh, this individual, they didn't see anything considered hateful, uh, but plenty of employees were raising concerns with the new approach. Understandably, their livelihood is on the line. So people are going to re you know, look at this situation and go, Ooh, what's going on? Especially since Land Rover, uh, Jaguar Land Rover has announced that they're going to shut 75% of Jaguar's dealerships. I mean, that's bad, right? That's just UK side. So God knows what they're going to do in the States. So again, this has been corroborated by several people now. So it's not just one individual. But they do say as well, over the last few years, there's been a significant increase in DEI-related comms. So... Again, it's coming down from the top. Everything's going woke. The DEI nonsense is coming through all of their communications. And we know that Adrian Mardell, the CEO of Jaguar, was in a Birmingham Pride Parade with a Jaguar all kitted up in Pride colours. Just nonsense. Absolute nonsense. Now, this employee says that their main fear is the activist push itself, and this is an interesting one, will begin to show up more on the Land Rover side. Now, Land Rover in the UK does really well. It does really well in the state side as well, to be honest. Like, they have a pretty big contingent of fans. Normally, like, rich mums, to be honest. Like, that's pretty much what it is. But, you know, whatever. They have their fans, so it is what it is. But they're really worried that this is going to go over to that side. And they say that they've already started using Defenders to promote LGBT events with rainbow-wrapped vehicles. Uh, and that's apparently where all the profit is generated, which makes sense because Jaguar stopped making cars. Um, so obviously they don't want any similar controversy with Land Rover because that would basically destroy the company. That would That's the company gone. That's dead. That is finito. It's gone. Never to come back. You've killed your brands. Now, 
we've got one from the UK side of things. So again, corroborated information, but it's still the same story. So this individual uh, is actually a partner uh, of someone who works at Jaguar. And they say that their partner uh, works at Jaguar mentioned that the advert itself sparked a lot of discussion among employees when it was released. Now that goes hand in hand with what the US based individual had said. Most of them saw it as a laughing stock, unable to understand its message or how it related to the company they've dedicated years, even decades to, which makes, yeah, I mean, that's basically everyone, isn't it? Everyone's just looking at this going like, what is this? This is a joke. Um, now, these are people who work on the manufacturing lines. So they're just manufacturing lines, uh, many of whom are lifelong employees who put their heart and soul into building the cars, which makes perfect sense. Uh, the advert itself, so the, the trailer, the advert thing, uh, was also posted on Jaguar's internal messaging platform, Jabba, which is a it's just an open source internal messaging thing, uh, where the comments made by employees were overwhelmingly negative. So morale is dead. Jaguar employees are like, what the fuck is going on? This is ridiculous. Um, this individual's partner said the feedback on Jabba mirrored the criticism seen on X, Twitter, uh, and they would have loved to have given uh, a screenshot of these particular comments. Um, but Jaguar has since removed the advert from their internal board due to the backlash. So they released the advert, they removed the advert, and this goes hand in hand with that memo, what that memo was saying, what these individuals were saying, what the CEO was saying in the memo, basically, we're gonna, with investigations, we've all seen it, we're gonna investigate what these comments were. And it's like, right, okay. So there are rumors going around that employees who posted negative comments are being investigated for possible disciplinary action, which, look, at the end of the day, if you're an adult, and you're not doing anything illegal piss off don't tell people don't police people's speech if you're an adult you have and, and no one's broken the law you've got no right to come and tell someone what they can and or cannot say it's ridiculous just live and let live you can hold an opinion right if you're not breaking the law and you can have an opinion on something you can voice it it's i don't see the issue so there you go that is the current state behind closed doors at jaguar so i've got to say I welcome communications from employees at Jaguar. Thank you so much for reaching out to me. Again, several people have done this. It's all corroborated this information. Again, several sources have done this. So I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. And it's just a peek behind the curtain to be like, wow, yeah, this is a complete shit show now. So I'd love to hear your thoughts. Drop it down below. Uh, I don't think they're ever going to recover from this. I don't. We've soon got the reveal of the car and that's not going to be anything... Uh, noteworthy enough that will mitigate the damage that this has done but hey let me know your thoughts down below if you're new here do hit subscribe turn the bell notifications on and again if you're a returning subscriber uh, or an individual that is not subscribed turn the bell notification on hit that subscribe button would appreciate it We've got lots of people that watch the videos that are not subscribed and it really does help the channel out and it also tells me you want more videos like this cheers take care bye bye now <laughs>